What's up everyone and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Chess Doctor here with yet another banger. Guys, almost 300 bangers on this channel. That is just insane. We do it every day here. And in today's banger, we are going to go and play some rapid chess. Why? Because it's raining outside. Everything is so chill and quiet. So uh, we're going to slow down. Uh, from all the fa uh, fast paced the time formats and we're gonna play some 10 minutes rapid I hope you enjoyed this video if you enjoyed make sure to leave some comments because I really love reading them and let's just begin playing some chess so I'm currently 1039 elo in rapid chess let's go guys we finally passed that 1000 point and uh, I'm very excited for this uh, I made a short yesterday about Soja Boy opening. Uh, you can check it out and I'm gonna play it right now, okay? I wanna play the Soja Boy opening. I don't care. Uh, so we we go G4 and then we play H3. So this is the Soja Boy opening. You just do not care what they say. Uh, you do not care about what they respond. You go with C3 after this. And we're gonna be playing the Soja Boy opening. So then we go with the crucial move A4. Uh, to open up this rook and uh, if it takes here like if we put it now here that's the soja boy gambit okay so we're gonna gambit this one oh but he's threatening our pawns here see so we do have this uh but i think we should just add a little bit extra layer of protection uh so let's go with e3 early because that's going to be played late later on in the soja boy opening so uh why not just do it like this oh i didn't i didn't look at this I didn't look at the bishop existing, honestly. But it doesn't matter. Uh, that is the beauty of the Soja Boy opening. Let's just continue. Uh, because you just let him have it. That's the deal. But the whatever they respond, however, whatever they say to this, it's a wrong move. So the best thing for black in the Soja Boy opening is just to stay silent, okay? So whatever they do, it's actually a mistake. So you just play whatever you want, but it's most important that you push all of these pawns in the beginning. Uh, we didn't do the Soldier Boy Gambit, we we're probably going to do it in the next game though. Because we're not like seriously playing a chess game with the Soldier Boy opening, and we just do not care. So he will be pushing this pawn, we're gonna attack it now, uh, very early on, we're potentially looking here. Uh, he can ask us a question here, but then we just take, and we just do not care, you know, life is good. Uh, and I think Soja Boy would agree with me on this one. So uh, let's play. Uh, let's play this move. Or yeah, I think we're okay by playing this move. Honestly, I don't understand quite what do I want with this move. Uh, but I think we can play it, or we can just stay here on this diagonal. Maybe later, if he castles up here, it's actually going to be good. Uh, and we are now straight up just like disrespecting the opponent by playing them a uh, Soja Boy opening, uh, starting with G4. Very, very strong opening, guys. Very, very strong opening. So this is the London defense, okay? London defense, Soja Boy opening variation. Uh, so now he do be thinking, and see, he just gave up this pawn, which was his only material that he had, uh, which was his only hope. Now he just given it up, and now we're gonna continue playing. Uh, we don't want to gambit in this game, so we have to wait for this bishop to move out of this diagonal. Then we're gonna go rook a3. Uh, but now he's attacking this. Uh, okay, but I do have enough defense, so I think I can honestly just ignore it. I can just ignore it, but I can also uh, move myself somewhere. Uh, but I'm not sure like if I go here... If he takes here and we trade, then he just takes takes this for free. But then we have this. But then after he moves, it's not, not, it's not the best position, okay? Uh, so I'm not sure, should we now gambit? Should we gambit it? Yeah, I think we're going to gambit it. We're going to gambit the rook now. We're going to gambit the rook, take back with the horse. And now we just got rid of the bishop. So he took me plus three. And this is the point of the Soja Boy opening. That doesn't matter... Uh, how much up they actually are in the opening you're actually just going to win straight up every single time so uh, now we can um, uh, We should definitely like castle or do something about this, but he's attacking this twice So castling is not really an option in this one uh, Let's see we, we can attack the Queen uh, To ask the Queen what is she doing here because if he captures here the Queen is just free so uh, we just ask, plus we're threatening this after he moves. He did stay on the same diagonal, so we can do that. Uh, but we can go here and force him to on personas because I think that's actually okay. 
because uh, if he does, I don't know, maybe we can push something else. Maybe we just open up a, a bishop a little bit uh, that we gambited the rook for. So I think that this bishop is going to be very powerful in the in the continuation of the game. I really actually enjoy playing the Soldier Boy opening. I played it today. I was so mesmerized by the opening. I was like, I have to try this in real time. And it, it's actually, I won the game. I won the game somehow, miraculously, okay? So now we have this. Yeah, now we have that because he's no longer looking at the same thing. And now we're threatening this and after that this. So I think that the best thing for him to do is like go here with the queen and offer a queen trade. But that just leaves a horse undefended, okay? Okay, so he can castle up as well. This this is a good move, sir. This is a good move. And we have to move the this. This is problematic because this, not, uh, this rook is just spinning us the whole time. So I think that we should uh, we should do something about this, uh, but I'm not sure exactly what. Okay, I have to go back here in order to I could have I couldn't have given a check. Okay, uh, I have to protect the rook and then move the horse away. Uh, so now we're going to just go back here because I, I think I'm we're, we're still defending this, so we don't care. Okay, we're still defending it. And soldier boy opening is just like the deal that you confuse your opponents. I think that this opening is very good for beginners. You're gonna have a lot of fun playing it and your opponents are not going to have so much play, uh, fun playing against it because they are in an unknown, unknown territory, okay? So we go back with the knight on a3 and he's just moving. He do be moving. Okay, I think it's time for us to get to moving as well. Uh, but the deal is this, this horse is just kind of done for because, uh, okay... We have enough defense, but we have to develop the bishop. We have to develop this bishop that is kind of useless in this position, honestly. Uh, but that that's how it is uh, with the soldier boy opening. Okay, so we have to. We had to do it, okay? We're gonna let him. We're gonna let him cook it, okay? Uh, we're gonna let him cook it because we, we do not care. Uh, but the, the interesting part is, like, after this, I think... Yeah, I think I have to give my queen because there is... There is no other way, okay? Soldier Boy opening just let me down in this one, but that we should have gambited the rook in the beginning. I think that's that's the idea of the Soldier Boy opening. Just give the rook on a3. Just do not care. Just get rid of the bishop and have your horse like this offside, you know? So uh, we can't do pretty much anything about this, sir. We can't do pretty much anything. Uh, but we can just pray to God, okay? That he doesn't actually understand the point of the soldier boy opening. Which is whatever you do with the black pieces, you lose and you know. So it's better for you to not move pieces at all. <laughs> so uh, the position. Do be cooking looking. But I think our king is actually a safe okay. So um, I don't know. I, I, he do be looking at me. <laughs> he do be looking at me. These pawns are very weird. That's what I dislike about this. The pawns are very not cooking, so I think we should push it up, oh my god, like this. And just push it, push it. And, uh, okay, if I lose this game, I'm not going to lose my 1000 elo, at least something, you know, at least something. So you have to defend this, uh, because that is defending both of these pawns, and these pawns are defending this pawn. And we're already down 10 points of material, uh, so it's not the best. Okay, he sack it. He sacked the, the knight. Okay, so now we're only down 8 points. Oh, he didn't sack it. Come on, sir. I do be blind. I do be blind sometimes, okay? I feel like he's threatening me El Che and Mato somewhere on the board, okay? I just don't know where. The pawn structure is not the best because this opponent didn't play the, the true soldier boy opening. That's the deal. Okay, we're gonna go king up. Uh, and he do be plus 12 and still doesn't know how to check and mate us. Okay. Just as I said it, he learned how to check and mate with a horse and a queen. Okay, thank you, opponent, for that game. Uh, let's go for one more, guys. Let's go for one more. 999 elo. Okay, now we have this. We're going to play the Anglund Gambit. We're going to play the Anglund because, sadly, uh, no white pieces for the Soldier Boy opening, okay? I mean, I probably you have a variation for black about the Soldier Boy opening, opening like G5, H6. Uh, but it's probably not the best since you don't have the best uh, the first move. So, and uh, now we're playing the Englund in Rapid. Again, very good decision for me in chess. Uh, but chess is all about having fun. So, while you're having fun, it's, uh, that's the only thing that matters. And I do be having fun by, by playing Englund and Soja Boy Gambit and all of these things, okay? 
So now we can uh, we can just take this pawn because it will be looking free. I mean, we don't care, you know. And now he doesn't want to trade up the horses. Uh, but I feel like we honestly should. Uh, the only thing I dislike about England is this bishop being kind of stuck. Uh, but that is fine. So this pawn is now pinned. So we're going to add extra layers of, of pressure here. Probably go c6 and then d5. Uh, or something along those lines, okay? But he do be adding a, an extra layer of protection to that as well. Uh, but to that we just won't care. I think we should just uh, still do the same little plan here. And uh, develop, you know, just open up this bishop here. So he's moving away from the pin. Uh, that's totally fine with me, sir. He managed to castle up, which is... The the point of England is, you know, you mess up them so much they can't really castle up, I guess. Or you just beat them before that. But if he castles up, it's kind of like, what are you doing, you know? But we're still going to do this. Uh, because I don't see that he's winning a pawn in that way. Because, like, takes and then takes back. I think we're... Oh, we shouldn't, actually. <laughs> it's a good thing we didn't pre-move that. Because we do be losing a piece that way. But we don't care. Okay, this poor 999 doesn't know that, okay, sir? See, he's tripping. He's already tripping. So now we're going to... We're not going to take back. We're going to let him take back, but we're probably going to just ask the queen a question so that she moves, so that later on we can do this idea. We just have to see what he gonna do about this. What he gonna do about this, uh, you know? That's, that's always a question. Because you never know, you you can plan all of your moves, but if you don't know what your opponent gonna do, sir, all of those things you calculated, like, I can calculate so many things here, and then my opponent goes pushing a3, and then I'm just like, well, I didn't calculate that, you know? <laughs> so, uh, we, we have to push like this to protect the bishop, and now he just do be straight up asking us a question immediately. Uh, do we have any questions for the queen, though? I don't think we have, okay? We don't have any questions for the queen, so we should just move the bishop away. Which is kind of unfortunate. I really wanted him to stay here, but that do be okay. Oh, he do be pinning me. Uh, but doesn't matter. Wait, can't we, like, go here? And then sack it? Because even if he takes here, we just take like this. I don't know, guys. The position. The position, okay? So we're gonna go like here. Uh, so he can't pin my queen, okay? You, you do be plus three, but you ain't gonna pin my queen, sir. You ain't gonna do that, sir. I really don't allow that part in my house, okay? I don't allow it. I just... I just straight up... I, I you, you won't, okay? If he ends up doing that, it's gonna be very frustrating. Okay. So he makes me move the king. He makes me move the king. Thank you, sir. Uh, because I would rather move the king than lose the queen, okay? Rather move the king than lose the queen. Remember that. That is an important chess rule, guys. Very important. Huh. Okay. So I, I don't know. As I said, everything is slow today. That's how I feel. I don't even know what to say about these L positions. They do be wild. But I don't exactly see what is this poor person doing. So we're going to go here. We're gonna go and give him a check to the head, guys. We're gonna go and be ambitious, okay? We're gonna go and be super duper ambitious. After that, I think we should go... Oh, we can't go there. We can't. I think he was uh, thinking of giving us a check here. So we have to move away from that part. Okay. Okay, sir. Uh, can't we go like here? No, sir. I was thinking. I was thinking it goes here. I, I'm just so blind. Okay, I just do be so blind today. Hmm. Okay. Then we have to move away. Then we have to. But do we really need to go back? That's kind of, you know, ridiculous. Let's go here. I don't know. Let's go here. Let's go here. Okay. He do be giving me a check, but as he said, I want to move the way. Maybe I should have gone here to open up this bishop, but I also want to open up the rooks. I don't know what the, what do I want to open up, sir, because everything do be closed. What is up with my hair? Look at this. Okay. Okay. What did he take? 
He just gave me a plain on old check. Oh, is this Gigi? Is this Gigi Hadid? Are we done for? Oh, we can move. <laughs> we can. We just have to give the horse, but we can still move. We can still play the game, okay? I think this person is very out because, like, how is this not checkmate, sir? I really thought. Oh, thank you. Thank you for being generous and kind. Thank you, sir. That's very nice. That's very nice. Very good opponent. Very good opponent. Just giving for free. Just being like, I don't want that advantage that you've just given me. That I have hardly earned, you know? I don't want to take it. Here you go. Here, here you go. It's back. It's equal. I mean, I do be down three points of material, but I was down six. He just gave it. He, he just do be 999 ELO, you know? He doesn't want to go to 1000, I guess. I think he wants to become a 100 ELO GM. I think that's the, that's the deal with this person. <laughs> Cause they just wanna, they just wanna help their chess dog out. May maybe they're watching my videos. You never know, okay? And now he's severely thinking, losing all of the time advantage that he had, or did he even have it in the first place? Okay, so uh, we can contemplate whether or not should we go here or here. And I think we should actually go here, uh, because uh, the times are hard, and the king has to find a bunker to hide in. Because otherwise we're gonna we're gonna lose that game, okay? But he doesn't have a light square bishop, okay? He just doesn't have a light square bishop, so he's trying to like come in close with the horse. Uh, that kind of rhymed for some reason. Uh, and we can we can go here. We can't go there. We have to move the bishop like here, cause the queen is protecting it, and then go with the rooks here somewhere so that. Uh, we can discover, attack him or whatever. That's that's the only thing that I can hold on to right now. Cause the position, the position, sir, the position ain't, ain't positioning at this point. <laughs> okay, I, I we're gonna push the pawn. We're gonna push the pawn and stay on this light square. Maybe that's just going to be the end of us. You never know. Uh, but we're gonna go up here, get a check to the head, and that's probably checkmate. I can go here. But then he just takes here and that's still checkmate, right? Yeah, I think that's... But is he gonna find it? Is he gonna... This is now a test, sir. This is now a test. Is he gonna find it? Because I think that's just GG. I mean, then I can push this. Okay, sir. Saucy, sir. Okay, that's a very saucy, sir, right here. So, he wants to trade this up. I have no right to vote in this position. Maybe we can actually take it back like, like this. Maybe that's actually better. Because the bishop and the queen are fine. Oh, he doesn't want to take it. Oh, he discovered the talk me. He discovered... Okay, okay, he discovered the attack to me. So we have to go like here because he's just going to snatch our queen. He just gonna wanna snatch our queen, okay? Plus 10. Life is miserable at this point, guys. <laughs> this is so bad. Why am I getting beaten by 999 ELO? What's happening? What's happening here? Maybe we're gonna flag him, though. Maybe we're gonna flag him. Because he do be thinking, but... Like, the last opponent as well. Plus 17 or whatever. Plus 20. And still do be thinking like crazy, like, sir, just chill down, you know? Like, you're winning. It's it's fine. Don't don't overthink it, okay? Just made a move. But that's the deal with rapid. You have so much time and you start to overthink. And I didn't overthink. I didn't... I decided to not overthink today. And then I decided to not think at all today. <laughs> Which is just like, okay. So we're done for. Oh, we can move here. It's still done for, however you turn it. So let's give the bishop to make him have even more advantage. Because if he's like... Oh, still the same thing? Okay, we're just prolonging the checkmate at this point. Yeah, okay. Okay, but I'm still 1000 elo, so I don't care, sir. Congratulations, opponent, for getting to 1000 elo as well. Uh, I'm glad I could be a part of your journey, okay? <laughs> I'm glad I could help you out, sir, because I'm just here to help you out. I'm here to be a good friend and to have your back, you know? So, guys, these are the rapid games. You know? It's, it is what it is. I mean, my energy levels today about all of these games are zero. 
Uh, I couldn't care less about the positions that I'm playing, honestly. And I really just wanted to have fun uh, on the board and make it chaotic. Uh, but that really cost me the game. And because first game was Soldier Boy opening, I should have played the Gambit. Maybe like that it would be more confusing to the opponent. Uh, but I think I still need to practice a lot of Soldier Boy opening because uh, like this, uh, it's my second time playing it ever, you know. So with practice, I think I can actually beat some a lot of people with Soldier Boy opening. And uh, with this England one, uh, we let him castle. Uh, he knew the theory, and when they know the theory in England, you're pretty much done for because uh, your position is offside, and you, it's just like it, it ain't what you want want to play against his position. Okay, that he's having actually a very good position at that point. Uh, but it, it was still fun. Uh, we played against this opponent for 30 moves in a completely losing position, and he was still thinking a lot. Uh, and I was still a challenge in a way, so you know, my, my deed is done. So guys, uh, that is it for me playing rapid. I won't do. I won't do it anymore, sir. I now, now I'm not going to play rapid for the next 10 months after this happened to me. You know, I'm just gonna play bullet and blitz, and I'm just gonna flag people, and that's how I'm gonna get my W's because like this. Sir, I cannot think. Sir, I cannot think. Especially the things that I'm playing. Like, I, I like to play the, these gambits and weird openings. I like to experiment. And when you're playing rapid, they have so much time to think about the position. They can always find the right moves because they're comfortable in the time. But when you're playing, for example, 3 minute blitz, uh, the time pressure do be here, sir. And then they're like, what is this person playing against me? And little do they know, we're playing the Soldier Boy opening, you know? Or like the Anglon, they forgot about all the theory because the clock is ticking. But here they don't sense it, so it's a completely different story for uh, the tactical play. It's really not good in Rapid that much. M at least for me, because I don't know it so much. Maybe for somebody who is more advanced than me, it's fun and everything. Uh, but for me, it's more fun to play tactical in shorter time formats and to play like more positionalis in the in the rapid, okay? But guys, that is it. Uh, I hope you still enjoyed it. Uh, th that's it. That's literally it. Like, subscribe, leave some comments, check out the description and have a wonderful day. Uh, keep on being happy and join my Discord server. Link is in the description down below. So guys, that is it. Uh, thank you for stopping by on this rainy day. I hope I made your day a little bit better. And that is it from your chess doctor. I will see you all tomorrow in a new video. Bye-bye.